Hi, good morning. Well, since the train started to roll, I decided that I would stay on it and just continue straight on. So even though a day would have elapsed for you, <laughs> how are you doing? All right, so let's pray and get started. Our Heavenly Father, thank you very much for your kindness, goodness, love to each one of us every day. I pray that you would bless each person who has taken the time to listen to this um, video. For Christ's sake, amen. Good. All right, so I'm talking about the next event now, or the next incident in the concatenation of events. Right, so this other incident now actually happened in July. And I've shared this already, so sorry for those who have heard it before. You can close your ears for this part of the, the, the video. Right, this was the unexpected arrival of a friend I had not seen in some 20 years. She came to stay at my home. And of course, this, this friend um, is Iristine Samuel. So I was so surprised. So when she came, of course, I told her, you know, what I had been planning to have the surgery, etc. We sat and we chatted. This is a friend from teen years. I met her at a camp in Antigua. So she listened and I remember the conversation so well as we sat in the children's bedroom when I told her what, you know, what my intentions were. I remember her words she said to me God wants to heal you he wants to give you a powerful testimony those were her exact those were her exact words and she is thankfully she is still around and alive and very well and confirmed the accuracy of what I've said both of us never really understood the depth of what she was saying like she didn't I certainly didn't either so she then went on to say that God wanted to um, increase my faith. And I wondered about that because she, you know, I figured I had faith, you know. Anyhow, so the significance of what she said to me, though, is that it caused me, it, I would say it created a paradigm shift in my thinking. It caused me to realize then that I really had not prayed about the matter. I was just going along routinely with what the, the recommendations, the recommendation that was made. So um, I decided then that I really needed to go and pray about the matter. Now, you know something, people have different ways of trying to figure out what is God's will for them, what they should do. And um, let me insert here a little story. You may have heard it already. So again, pardon the repetition um, about this lady who had uh, what it would call an idiosyncratic and dubious way of finding out what God wanted her to do, what she would do. Anytime she came to a crossroad, she would, uh, she would have a stick with her. Huh? Remember, there's a story. <laughs> when she got to the crossroad, she would throw the stick up in the air and in whichever direction the stick landed, she would take that as God telling her to go that way. Anyhow, as the story goes, a stranger was looking at her um, on one of those occasions and he knew her modus operandi, we could say. So she threw the stick up once, landed. She didn't head off. She threw it up a second time. It landed. Didn't head off. She picked him up. She threw it up a third time. And when it landed that third time, she headed off in that direction. So the stranger caught up with her and asked her, how come she had to throw the stick three times? She looked at him and she said, it did not fall in the right direction the first two times. <laughs> oh my uh, that's a funny little story, but I tell you, it represents what happens with, um, with some people. They really just want God to rubber stamp what they already intend to do. But prayer cannot be like that. The essence of prayer is that it has to bring us, it bring us to us an understanding of what is God's will for our lives. So, I went and I literally knelt down and prayed. And I said to God, I know, I know it was at a crossroad. I said, Lord, I really, I'm really not sure what to do. Because to, to choose is not to choose. And you know, there are times we like people to choose for us. 
So I knelt and I prayed. And I will tell you in the next note the answer that I received. I'm actually, I'm going to read it for you. All right. God bless you and um, all of this in me. So I didn't have to look at any papers. <laughs> it just rolled all out of me. God bless you. And we're going to pick up in the next note where I tell you then what was the next string. All right. God bless you. Have a great day.